In the last few videos that I've posted, I received several comments, questions, direct messages from viewers and subscribers asking about uh, the bees. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the different types of bees, uh, the mating and things like that. Uh, I do have my notes because there's a lot to cover today. Uh, and I just want to make sure that I cover everything. So first we'll just start with the various types of bees that are in the hive. Uh, the hives are made up basically of three types of bees. You have the worker bees, uh, the drones, and the queen. So we'll start with the worker bees. The worker bees are all female. They make up the majority of the hive. Typically, uh, there are several thousand bees in a hive. Uh, any, for a big hive, anywhere from 30 to 50,000 bees in a hive. And the worker bees uh, can live approximately six weeks in the spring and summer. And then in the winter, they do live longer, approximately four to six months. Uh, the worker bees are not fertile, but they can lay eggs and will only produce drones. They cannot produce a, uh, a queen bee. Uh, the worker bees are responsible for maintaining all aspects of the hive. They do all the foraging, caring for the bees, larvae, and brood and hive maintenance and protection. The workers play a very specific role that can change over time. And also they care for all needs of the queen. They, the worker bees also can produce queen by feeding the baby bees, well the larva and the baby bees also, something called royal jelly. And it's just a secretion of protein that's actually produced by the workers and they will determine when a queen should be uh, produced. And this typically occurs after production. If production starts to decline, the, the bees will realize that and then they will make a, a queen. Uh, the next bee is the drone bee. They are identified by their size and the large eyes that they have. Uh, they are typically larger than the worker bees. Uh, they do not have a stinger, and they live approximately uh, six months or so. Uh, they do not contribute much to high maintenance or the care for the bees, and the drone's sole job is uh, to breed queens, which occurs outside of the hive. They do not breed with the queen inside of the hive. Uh, the breeding of the drone occurs in something called a drone congregation area. It's an area that's uh, maybe a hundred feet or, or a little bit more in the air and um, the drones will just congregate in that area and because of their pheromone the the virgin queen bees are attracted to that and they'll go to the area and they are bred in, in the drone congregation areas. Um, the drones will fight to breed the queen with the winter permitted to breed the queen and breeding occurs, as I mentioned, in midair. And um, after the, after the uh, drone breeds with the queen, uh, the organs and er other internal components are separated from the drone during the mating process. And this causes an immediate depth of the drone. So the drone only gets to breed once. And once br uh, breeding occurs, the drone dies immediately. Um, in the fall and winter, uh, the drones are forced out of the hives by the worker bees because of limited resources. Um, and typically, they, they will basically die once they're forced out of the hive. And the worker bees uh, start that process in the fall and winter uh, as the winter approaches. Now for the queen bee. Uh, typically, there's only one queen bee per hive. Uh, the queen is identified by her size and shape. She's much larger than the worker bees and also the drone. Uh, the queen can live anywhere from four to five years. And the queen is the only fertilized uh, female bee in the hive. As I mentioned earlier, the queen is created by the workers, uh, by the worker bees feeding uh, royal je jelly to the larva and the baby bees. Um, the queen will take her first mating flight after 
about seven days old. And uh, typically she will take one or two mating flights. It's just a really quick process. And she will mate with anywhere from 12 to 18 drones or so during that process. And once the queen is fertilized, she will come back and she can lay anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 eggs per day. The queen's only job is to lay eggs. Uh, the worker bees are attracted to the queen by uh, the queen's uh, fur bone or scent. And the bees are very organized and structured in the hive in terms of the roles that they play. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the workers' roles will change over time uh, in, in terms of what jobs that they have within the hive. But uh, these bees are really amazing creatures. Um, I've been keeping bees for probably about five to six years. And this is my second time uh, keeping bees. Uh, I was in another state and I had hives for uh, a few years there and then my bees swarmed and I just never established a hive and then hive, any, any additional hives. Uh, and then last year was the first time that I established hives here, but currently I have four hives. And if you recall, recall from some of the earlier videos, uh, this first hive here is a swarm that I captured uh, this spring and I checked with them yesterday and they are developing very well. There's uh, brood in there. They're also bringing in nectar and, po and pollen. Uh, this is a hive here that hive number two is the one that I overwintered and uh, it's doing very well. And I actually split this hive earlier this spring and the one on the very end over there, hive number four is the split from this hive. And by splitting the hive, um, I took one or two frames out of this hive here and placed it in an empty box with some additional frames and the bees actually made a queen from that um, split that i created so i checked that hive over there yesterday and there are eggs larvae and brood in there so that hive is starting to grow now just as um, this swarm is and then this third hive here is another hive that uh, overwintered last year and it's doing well also. Uh, early on it uh, was queenless so they have actually created another queen for that hive and so it's doing well. So I will just continue to monitor these hives and I'll create videos um, throughout the next several weeks to keep you posted on how they develop. Uh, but this is just a quick video just to uh, discuss uh, the various types of bees. So please, uh, if you have any questions, comments, please drop them below and we will talk in the next video.